Howdy y'all, it's Kathy from Rust Paper Scissors and I was here today to do a flip through of my um, flip flop journal and um, I want to do a tutorial on my take on how to make the flip flop journals. Uh, I've kind of jumped on the bandwagon. I watched a couple of videos and um, I got a little confused on some of them and with the envelopes and so um, I thought, uh, why not make them with file folders? And I make a lot of my signatures in my journals out of file folders. Uh, I make many uh, journals of the file folders, so I really like them. I use them a lot. So I'm going to do a quick little tutorial after I do the flip through. This is a totally blank little flip-flop journal. I did add some vintage lace. I added a digital on the back. There's some sticky backed velvet. Uh, it's mainly a French themed, I call it a rusted shabby French flip-flop journal uh, because rust is my thing and I'm going to add along with the journal, I'm going to add the rusted elements, uh, some um, alligator clips, bulldog clips, rusted paper clips, and some uh, ribbon crimps. And um, like I say, the journal is blank. I, I include those for you to add your embellishments with. Um, the, I'm challenged with um, the closure. I, uh, I'm not a bow. I'm not, I don't make a lot of good bows, so that's hard for me. Normally, my traditional uh, closure is the bulldog clips with the chain, and I kind of wish I had done that on this one, but I didn't because it would have been hard to clip it on there and have it and just have it work. So I used the D-ring fastener. I sell these in my shop. They're a little rusted and then I just wrapped the sorry silk around. Like I say, it's just several digitals um, that I used. French, um, oh, what is that? Uh, ephemera or like ledger papers or receipts. And I uh, just use that. And then the pages are blank. The pages are tea dyed. The pages in the signature are exactly the same in each signature, so I'm going to blow through them pretty fast because I don't want to waste your time. But um, you'll you'll see as we go through that it's it's very plain. And this I just like that. Then you can make it your own, and you know you can do a lot with it. So uh, open it up, and this the cover is just uh, another digital. It's a lot of blues and greens. And then the pa quickly the pages are uh, some tea dyed tracing paper, some graft paper, some ledger paper, writing paper. This is um, mixed media paper. The center of each signature is an envelope, and this one is covered. They're all covered in sticky backed velvet. I added the vintage lace to it, and then on the back will be uh, some kind of uh, paper or collage or something. And then, like I say, these pages are the same. This is some ledger paper from the 1950s, and it's a beautiful, you know, creamed color, and it has uh, the blue writing, so I thought that went well. And then this is the next signature. I've never made a tall journal like this, so this was kind of a challenge for me to make that. I think I prefer the smaller ones, but uh, I did... Uh, you know, make this one is tall. And so the pages, uh, here's the center of the signature. This um, back of this envelope is just a digital French document. And then, um, like I say, these are all the same. this was just some um, wallpaper. On this page, I thought you could take one of the ribbon crimps and you could make a fabric flip with it. You could make a paper flip with it. You could also make a belly band. If you had some pretty uh, pretty ribbon or lace, you could make a belly band. So I wanted to, to show that. And then the next signature is just some uh, music vintage music paper. On this one, 
I didn't get it quite to the edge when I, I cut the page, so I added some um, lace to kind of cover up that edge. I'd just like to say, remember you're alone in the craft room. You can cover up your mistakes. And then here's our pages. Again, the flip out. And then here's our signature. And then this one has just a pretty um, French receipt. And then our signatures just folds out. And then the back of that signature. Then this page is just another French document. And then again, our pages. And so there's quite a bit, you know, you could put a lot in here. Uh, this is again, the center of the signature, again, uh, digital. And then this is the back of the book, a digital. And then, I, like I say, I printed, uh, or I covered the back of the book with the sticky backed velvet. It's that uh, marine blue, I believe it's called. And then this was a digital, I believe it's called Blue Orchid. I thought it was really pretty. And so I added that. Then you just turn it over and you start all over again. And you have your pages, your center. There's just a collage page. And then this next, that's the back of that signature. Then this is the next signature. And again, I added the lace. Again, our pages are at the center of our signature. This one, I covered it with the wallpaper. And then um, that's the um, front cover. And we're back at the front. So that's it's very easy, very quick. Like I say, it's uh, very blank for you to make your own. And uh, I wanted to quickly give a little tutorial on how I did them. The uh, rusted elements will go will go with the journals, just so you know. So this is the little uh, journal that I made, and I'm going to show you. We're going to do this one real quick, and uh, it's just an easy little um, tutorial. All right, file folders. They're going to be the death of me, I swear. Uh, they are not straight. They're the only straight edge, and I'm not even sure if it's a straight edge, is where it's folded along the bottom. These side edges are not straight. Trust me. I've, I've been struggling with these things. I, I use them a lot, so I know. So what we're going to do is you're going to take two file folders. And uh, what I did was I cut off this little tab here, this little extra says tab. I'm going to turn it over because this is where the tabs are. But this little edge, we're just going to cut that off. So line up the bottom where it's folded against your guide and, you know, get it straight because these aren't straight. And um, I'm going to cut that. There's really very little measuring or it's going to be very easy, you're going to see. So that's, oh, I didn't get that cut off good. And then we flip it over and I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna cut it just at the edge here where that um, is just cut off. Okay, so now. Now, the next thing you're gonna cut off, and this is the one thing that we're gonna measure, is the edge where, you know, that you open it up that has the tabs I'm going to put the folded edge at 8, and I'm going to cut this at 8 inches. That means that our kind of little booklet page is going to be 4 inches because we're going to fold it in half, but I'll show you here what I mean. Okay, so now we have that, and then I have another one, so I told you I had two. Now, we want to make the journal. I want to make it six and a half. The one, uh, this one was about eight inches and I just didn't enjoy that long skinny uh, journal. So I wanted to make mine. I made mine six and a half and then this is going to be four. So what you do is you're going to measure with your folded side along your guide. You're going to measure at six and a half and you're gonna cut that. 
Now, save this piece. This is just an extra piece, but we'll use it. So now you have, this is going to be your book. So you have one, and then the magic of videoing, there's the other one. So you have two. So now, that's, that's all you're cutting for right now. But I'm going to get it back in just a second. What you do is you take this, and you're going to take one of the sides and fold it over to where the crease is. And um, you're going to try as best you can. You don't want to go right up to the crease, but you want to get pretty close. And uh, I just, and I fold it a couple of times. I fold it back on itself. And then you take the other side and you do the same thing. You're going to butt it up to that uh, fold, but you're not going to go over that fold. You want it to be up close to it. And then you're going to, you know, use your bone folder, get it good and folded, fold the other side. So here we have one half of our booklet made, okay, or our flip-flop journal. Then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to open it up. We're going to fold into the, um, where it's folded, and don't just butt up to the crease. Don't go over the crease again, and you're going to take this side and do the same thing. Go up to that fold, and then you're going to, and I'll hold it up. So see, you have these two, they're butted up next to that folded line, but it's going to, it would close and be, and then I, like I say, I fold the things back on themselves because you want a good fold. So now you have your booklet made. So now what you have to decide is how you want your booklet to open. And this one, I, I'm going to want it to open with just a single page where the uh, folded part is, it's just like a book. So I'm going to open it like that and have it that way, okay? On this journal... For some reason, the tutorial had me do it another way, and so this one is, uh, this is a folded page. It's not a single page, so it, it really doesn't matter. Decide how you want it and how you like it and make it that way. This one, this is what I made. This is, I added this small little, pick. this is a single sheet, and you open it up. Okay, so, this is one booklet, and this is the other one. So, you have two. What you're going to do, once you have the way you want it to open, then you're going to take your um, two pages, and you're going to glue them together the back of one and the front of another. And we'll just do that real quick. Easy peasy. And just want it to, you just want them to meet up. I'm not gonna be very straight here, but you just get it as best you can. Make sure it folds. Make sure it butts up this way. You want it that's not meeting exactly, but that's okay. It's a junk journal. And so now you have your book. If you wanted to, you could cut this side off if, it, if you have too many signatures. Um, let's use the prototype that I have already made up. Um, oh, I, um, oh, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Let me go back. So now you've got your booklet together. You're going to want to do a little cover. If you want to do a smaller little cover, like a flip out cover, that's what we're going to use this extra sheet of paper from uh, your digital. All I'm gonna do is cut it down 
my pages are about the width is about four inches so I'm going to cut this at three and a half and then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to cut this part off at about an inch and a half and that's going to make our front cover here this out of the way okay so we're going to decide where you want it if you want it in the middle if you want it at the bottom wherever you want I'm going to kind of just do it at the middle and you only want one so let's do it this way I'm just going to glue this flap easy peasy then you're done and uh, you're ready to, to go on to the next thing. Okay, so just make sure you get, I want this, this glued flap to be on the back, not the front of the cover. So I'm just gonna put it on there, get it lined up. And then, so now you have your book, you have your cover, you have your, your page, your signatures, and then you flip them over and you have your other signatures and you're done. That's your journal. So uh, here it is. Here's this one again. And let's see. It's So you would put your pay, your signatures sewn in here. Your signatures sewn here. So that's one, two, three signatures, four signatures. And then if you turn it over, five signatures, six signatures, seven signatures. So there's your little journal. So that's all there is to it. So when I made that, I was, I was having so much fun and I, I got to thinking about um, at Halloween, I love to make, I call them witches' companion journals. And they're just kind of a haphazard mixture of pages that I throw together and uh, just it looks like maybe a witch's notebook where she just threw things in. So I thought, well, I would like to do a Halloween themed uh, flip-flop journal. So I made a quick little prototype and I haven't even embellished it at all, but I just wanted to show you what I was thinking about. I took a black, two black file folders, actually this is just one black file folder, and uh, I did the same process that I did with the other one. Although what is different on this journal, I made the spine of some of the pages a, a little bit like a gusset. So it's about a quarter of an inch thick. So I don't know if you can see in between there, but you see you have more room for your pages. So I wanted, with this journal, it, it kind of alligators. And, um, you know, that's fine, but if you want to be able to add you know, quite a few pages, I thought, well, if I had, you know, a little room, a little gusset, it might work better. So this was, what I did was on the front cover, I covered it with some sticky backed velvet, and on the back, I covered it with the black sticky backed velvet. And then I thought that would make a cute, um, you know, cover for your journal. And, um, or this, I thought this, I liked this one a lot. I thought that was cute. And then, um, on this one, you open it up, and I added some, uh, just some notebook paper, some little, uh, uh, you know, writing paper. And then behind it, I thought, well, what if you put a little, you know, when you're decorating the pages, the back pages, if I added this digital, and then when it's closed up, it's like banish a ghost. You could see that, and I thought, oh, that looks neat. And uh, so then on the inside signature, on this page, there's the gusset, if you can see it, there's, you know, about a quarter of an inch. And then you could add uh, a different digital, like curse removal, or uh, you could add uh, just a little skeleton and the worms crawl in, the worms crawl out, just all sorts of different things. So I just wanted to briefly show that. And then you would add your signatures here, but you have a little extra room, if you can see that, for your pages. And then this is this one flips up, and it's just a small little flip on the back. Again, you could put 
you know, something there. You would cover these pages. You'd add your pages here. And that's your journal. So that's, uh, I'm going to work on that and hopefully get one made up quickly here in the next uh, couple of days that I can add to my Etsy shop. Because I think I mentioned that, I think it's Tracy Fox is doing a Halloween collaboration. I believe it's called Creep, Creep on June. And um, I know there's several people are involved in that. So I know people are doing Halloween. So when I got out my Halloween items, I found these two little journals that I had left over from last year. This is just a plain little uh, journal. And uh, it's just a mini little journal with notebook paper in there, and that's all there is to it. Very simple and easy, and that will be for sale in my Etsy shop. Then this is what I'm talking about when I talk about like a witch's companion. It's just a, a, a small journal. Uh, I close it with the ribbon, the D-ring fasteners. I added a little uh, metal rim tag. I added a book plate. This is a digital with some corrugated cardboard and some um, Oh, ribbon twist paper, and then you open it up, and this is what I'm talking about, the pages. It's just a mixture of pages. They, You know, it looks like the witch just threw this all together. Maybe she writes her notes, but this could be where you could write about your Halloween. You could write about your party, what you did, your decorations. All this could be included, so uh, it's just a fun little uh, journal. So I found that in my... Um, stash and I thought well I'm going to put that back in my for sale in my Etsy shop and see if somebody might be interested in in getting that and then the other thing I wanted to uh, mention was I've been working on trying to get several journals into my uh, shop and um, I struggle with the embellishing part of journals and um, I always you know I want the person who gets the journal to really be able to make it their own. So I try not to add a lot of ephemera that is permanent. I always add something that somebody could take away or move to another journal or use it in a different way. Maybe they don't like it there. They want it somewhere else. So it takes me a long time to make a journal ready to sell. So what I had these two ready to go, and uh, they're both uh, repurposed Reader's Digest books. They're about five by seven. The spine is, you know, an inch and a half, maybe two inches. Um, they will both have the uh, my signature closure, which is the um, bulldog clips with the chain. They're totally plain. They have two signatures. This one, I envisioned this one being a little bit more masculine. Uh, I added the uh, blue sticky backed velvet on the inside here. Again, it's two signatures. The pages are exactly the same in the signatures. And again, it's just blank pages. It's totally for you to make your own. The center of the signature is a uh, envelope, and then the rest of the pages are just blank for you to, to make your own. So that's that one. That will be for sale in my Etsy shop. Then this is exactly the same, except it's a little more feminine. Uh, the inside of this one is uh, black sticky backed velvet. I added uh, some uh, a doily on each of the signatures. I added a doily. And then again, the pages, it's totally blank. Uh, I'm gonna put these for sale in my Etsy shop. And um, just as they are, I will add the, the closure on this one. Um, I'm only going to list them for a couple of days because if they don't sell, I'm going to uh, take the listing down and then I will embellish them and, and bring them back for sale uh, as a group. But um, I did want to just maybe get those... Um, out there in case somebody was interested in a totally blank journal. I'm going to give, with each journal, I'm going to give a, uh, what I call a junk journal kit. It's just uh, several rusted items, uh, you know, uh, paper clips, uh, alligator clips, bulldog clips, bull, uh, book darts, and each journal will come with a junk journal kit. And so those two will be for sale, like I say, just for a couple of days. 
And then this will be for sale in my Etsy shop. Again, the um, flip-flop, the French, the rusted, uh, shabby French <laughs> flip-flop journal. So uh, that's it. I appreciate your time. I would appreciate any comments, uh, what you thought about the tutorial, if it was easy. Um, just, I appreciate all the comments. They're, they're usually, have always been uh, wonderful and kind. And uh, if you like the journal or if you like the video I would appreciate it if you hit the like button if you become a subscriber I would love that uh, but I just I thank everyone for their time and uh, just uh, hope uh, this will add something to your crafting thank you very much